Good evening, everyone. We welcome you back to the Toronto Rock Athletic Center here on the Blue Turf. I'm Matthew Carrick in for the JVI Sports Network as we continue our coverage of the MSL Classic. Early face-off win here for Brooklyn using their new uncommon fit back in black jerseys. As Bushi back in the lineup after the night off yesterday will pass for Donville. Up top here for, I believe that's Dan Nickel. Bushi had trouble with it, it's down on the carpet. And Oakville in the red uniforms. We'll bring it back the other way. This is Dan Lintner finding help off the bench. Zach Manns playing back in the corner. Manns on a tear in the first couple weeks of the season. As it'll be picked up back again. Hard shot save made by Craig Wendy, who gets the start here this evening for Oakville. Back the other way, it's Riley Hutchcraft for Brooklyn. After Joel Watson picked up the first career major series win. Mickle setting up again. Has help coming off the bench, waits for the change to complete, and now they work out for Bushi. Shot coming in, that does hit off Wendy, and then a big hit there in the corner. Recovered though by BLC. There by Fox cutting in, and Jake Fox shoots it off the left arm of Wendy. Up for Bill Hostrauser. A two goal performance last week for Hostrauser, as now a two on one back the other way. Corbeil will set the pick, and Wendy with the save on the two on one. Big tie up here on the near side. As they fight for the ball. Rebound is picked up by Lindner. Over to the far side. Shot clock reset there. As Lindner back to the outside. Henry follows. The Orangeville buzz captain. Oakville, excuse me, as feeds back for Lanchbury who Fires it off the foot of Ty Thompson. Right back for Corson Keeley off the glass. Low shot there. Wendy off balance as Kyle Waters was right on the doorstep. And the penalty coming here, first one of the game, going to Oakville as Taylor Caulfield heads off for the hold. If you're looking for the Coburg Owen Sound game, it's over on the other turf behind us on the red side. Alan Corkum calling that over on JVI Sports Network Channel 2. Bit.ly slash JVI Sports 2 is where you can find that channel and the Coburg. Owen Sound game, also located in the playlist here on the channel. Jonathan Donville ducking and faking. Ty Thompson tried to go cross crease there for Bushi. And Wendy came across to make a save. Callum Jones, former Burlington Chiefs captain, here for Dan Lintner. Lintner back for Manns. 
Looking for help, finding the cutter and the shot there from Matt Anderson. Got under Hutchcraft, but not far enough to go over the line. Scoreless through our first four and a half minutes here. Halfway through the penalty to Taylor Kaufelt. As Brooklyn sets up again on the power play with Donville up top. A pick from Bushi. Comes back across for Corson Keeley. Donville. Excuse me, I believe that is Jake Fox knocked down to the side of the crease and a tripping call coming here to Oakville. So two guys in the box early on. Now for the Oakville Rock. A reminder that we're playing four 15-minute quarters here. So with 43 seconds left to go, Alex Q heading off for a tripping call. And now a five on three for BLC. Brooklyn. It's Donville. Whose impressive rookie campaign continues here. As Brooklyn now leads 1-0. That's way too much space for the likes of Jonathan Donville, the first overall pick in 2019. Who sidesteps his way in and Donville has it one nothing on the power play. Still a minute 49 left in the second minor as Matthew Boisino moves early against Callum Jones. Henry follows. Cross for Lanchbury. Despite the fact that a lot of pro players not playing MSL Classic, there are some offensive names on this Oakville Rock roster. Jack Kelly. Follows working out of the corner late in the shot clock. Can try the quick stick and now the dunk attempt. Kyle Crotman there to call the 30-second count. Him, I believe, along with Sean Grenier. The two officials in the uncommon fit. Referees jerseys. Tomorrow night, the debut of the Six Nation Chiefs jerseys, which got a lot of buzz, and rightly so, on social media. Here's a couple of saves from Wendy. Oh, my, with the stick. Going up first, robbing Ty Thompson, and then Mickle on the crease. Played back up top for Matt Anderson. 15 on the shot clock for Oakville. 35 left in the penalty as Lintner spins back outside. Now beats a double team. No shot and down on the crease. Anderson can't control. And it's recovered by Justin Robinson. Colton Watkinson now into the stick of Donville. He'll peek at the clock. Sees that there's 15 left in the power play. Donville's got Bushy with him. Pass for Bushy. Rebound just eludes Mickle, but Wendy another shoulder save, and that should do it for the penalty as racing in alone. And getting knocked to the carpet was Alex Q. Fresh out of the penalty box. But Donville has it back. Ty Thompson. Part of that blockbuster trade a few years ago between Brooklyn and Six Nations as here's a dive attempt by Jake Fox on the crease and Wendy making another save. Settling in early here is Craig Wendy. The Rochester Nighthawks goaltender. Bouncer up for Lintner. Now Lanchbury. Lanchbury looking for follows. It goes Aaron in the corner. Matthew Boisino there to pick up. And a couple quick stick passes and then a cutback move on the crease for Jake Stevens. In tight on Wendy, who makes another save that time on the two on one. 
as Mitch Wild and Jake Stevens took off down floor. Lanchbury out of the corner. Back to the crease for Anderson. It's recovered by Mans and Lanchbury. No room for Lanchbury to shoot. Couple times on that shift as Jack Kelly had it pop off the end of his stick. Now Brooklyn coming in on the wrong side. There's the shot from Cody Ward. Had help coming off the bench. Electing not to use Kyle Waters. Under six and a half to go here in the period. Quick pace so far as Zach Manns up for a high stepping Lintner on the crease. And a huge collision with Boisano coming over to lay the body on Dan Lintner. Ryan Wagner. Over center now for Dan Mickle. Has Bushi off the bench. Fox setting the pick. Bushi to the corner, will be pushed out wide by Alec Tamis, and then on the crease. A diving chance there. Q on the back of Keeley and Wendy the save. Tamis. Passing here for Lanchbury. Five and a half to play in the first quarter. As Lintner works around Nick Tchaikowski. Who in his fourth game will lead this Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. Along with Donville and a couple others playing game number four here this evening. Dancing around the outside is Follows. Henry Follows, a bounce shot in on Hutchcraft who will stand in to make the save. Five minutes to go in so far just a one goal period. Jonathan Donville on the power play. This is Donville again. Steered clear of the crease by Nick Ellerton. And now loose ball caused and brought up by Alec Tamas. Tamas will stay on offense here as Lanchbury runs it over center. Now for Lintner. Bouncer over to the far side, Zach Bands. Cycle continues, working in for Tamas, the bounce shot there and off the shoulder of Hutchcraft. And we get a whistle here and a too many men call. And I was just about to say, this has been a lengthy time in a humid part of the city. Despite the air conditioning still hot down there on turf level, goaltenders finally at four minutes and 20 seconds remaining here in the first quarter will get a chance to get water. Jason Crosby running the bench tonight for Brooklyn. It said Sean Grenier, but it's Andrew Ecclestone, the second official. My apologies. As it's Chris Bushy going to serve the substitution penalty and the power play of Oakville will set up. Lintner. For Mans in the corner. Back up top for Lintner, Zach Mans. Now they get the righties involved. Playing for Anderson. Lanchbury. From the top, that shot off the arm of Hutchcraft looked like it was, had English on it, but momentum does carry it into the corner as Mans was taken out. Now tripped up here, Brooklyn losing the ball and stumbling off the floor is Cody Ward. And meanwhile, back the other way, Oakville will tie things up as it looks like Dylan Watson The Orangeville Northman Junior A product. Monster offensive player for Orangeville. Getting the goal here and the pickup after Ward fell, just taking it in in the quick release shot from the top of the fan. For Watson makes it 1-1, so. Bit of an unlucky break for Brooklyn, but Oakville will take it as it's tied up. One all.
as Chankowski controls the face off and rolls over to Chris Bushy. Bushy for Fox off the bench. Bushy. Thompson trying to find the cutter who's course in Keeley. All the way up top, long range from Fox, caught in the stick of Wendy. Chris Bushy has come all the way through the ranks, starting with Junior B with the Halton Hills Bulldogs, played Burlington Chiefs, MSL, and then, of course, a couple teams now with Halifax Thunderbirds in the National Cross League. This ball works back for Lindner, under five to go in the shot clock for Oakville. But we just dump towards the net, trying that air gate Superman dunk attempt goal. Was Zach Mann's desperation to try and beat the shot clock. Only two and a half left to go here in quarter number one, where we're tied 1-1. Bushy off the bench, streaking through the shot in there. And Wendy will make the save. As the rebound will be picked up by Ty Thompson. Donville, down low for Bushi. And a moving screen is called there as Steve Portelli was knocked to the turf. So Oakville will get possession back. Follows. Here for Anderson. Dylan Watson. Tamis working out of the corner. Play back for Follows. Had an option up top, elects to go down for Jack Kelly. And that's stripped away from Kelly. And run out of the zone by Zach Deacon. Deacon to Tchaikowski. Keeley. Looking back for Donville on the turf. Tchaikowski there to pick up. Tchaikowski back for Deacon. Hard shot off the shoulder of Wendy. Deacon with a hit on Luke Van Scheppen. And now kicked back towards the line. This should be an over and back call as looked like it was on purpose there from the over and back called against Oakville, excuse me, but it definitely looked like the Brooklyn player kicked it. And it's gonna be a break here for Oakville as Ty Thompson, or Brooklyn rather, excuse me, as Ty Thompson winds up and fires a high step shot that gets past Wendy. And Brooklyn retakes the lead now 2-1 with a minute and three seconds left here in the first. Wazano in for Brooklyn and moving early is Callum Jones who has yet to figure out the whistle of Kyle Kropman here tonight. Over the top, Donville that shot. Meanwhile, Orson Keeley was taken down in front. Rebound played up for Tamis. Alec Tamis for Lanchbury. Trying to return for Tamis. 37 seconds left as it's picked off. And here coming down floor is Wagner alone. And stick save made, reaching high to push it in. And look out here is a collision on the back of the net. Justin Robinson looking for that dunk shot all over Wendy. Wendy wants to know if he's coming. Matt Sawyer said make sure they clear half. They do that now, and Wendy will go to the bench for the extra attacker with 20 seconds left in the quarter. Lanchbury has it. Extra man is Jack Kelly. Here's Manns in the corner for follows. And Zach Manns, now Ryan Lanchbury. Quick stick, they go for follows. Hutchcraft with the save, picked out of the crease, and no time to bomb it down the floor. We saw one of those scored by Mitch Wild last night, backfiring on Coburg. Again, they're in action against Owen Sound over on Channel 2 from the Red Turf. 
as we hit intermission here. Don't go anywhere. Only a couple minutes break before we're back to MSL Classic from the Toronto Rock Athletic Center on the JVI Sports Network. Two one your score after the first quarter as we're back underway here for period number two, a change at the dot at least for this face off for Alex Tamas. And different result as Oakville will pick up. So mentioned that Callum Jones was having his difficulties as in behind the play, Luke Van Sheppen stuffed into the glass at the timekeeper's area. As we work back the other way, though, for Brooklyn. Cody Ward. Out to the outside for Ty Thompson. Oh, the cut move. An initial dodge from Zach Deacon. Snaking through the defense, and this is a pretty goal to make it 3-1 for Brooklyn. Slide help coming a bit late. And I think that's actually Corson Keeley, the 16, not the 10. As Tamis all over Boisano, who will win the faceoff. But 2 1, excuse me, 3 1 here in the opening minute of the second quarter. Bouncer all the way back up top for Jackson Suba. Didn't play in yesterday's game. Left last week early as Fox. A bouncer through the legs of Wendy. Brooklyn threatening to go on a run here to start the second quarter. As Fox just works out of the corner, finds a seam, and... <laughs> Kind of looked like Wendy was looking skyward. Knew he was beat before that shot even came. Kind of surprised by the release a little bit. 13.58 to go. As the first faceoff not taken by Boisano, it's Cody Ward. And one in the stick of Oakville. Over the top, looking for the bounce shot into the feet there of Hutchcraft was Lintner. Passed down floor and unable to pick up cleanly. Is Cody Ward. Back outside, 
Spinning back, taking the shot. Brand Brandon Slade. Save made by Hutchcraft, all alone back the other way. A number of fakes for Jake Stevens. Already three goals here in the period as Hutchcraft gets a little love from the bench for this save right here. That starts the counterattack the other way. Quick up. And Whelan Stevens, he was called by KW. Puts that in the back of the net. To make it 5-1 here, 13.04 to go. After a slash awards this faceoff to Brooklyn. Bushi, like stumbled there momentarily, gets it back for Keeley who was stuffed. Then a shot coming from Donville over top of the net. Oh, what a save from Wendy. Wendy for Tamas. Couple beauties from Craig Wendy on the crease. Looking for Jack Kelly, unable to get the shot. This one will be over and back. Out of the reach of Zach Manns. As Thompson from the corner. As Mickle in the middle. Mickle to the crease, got filled in. Right in the back it looked like his host trouser hit Dan Mickle who gets up and is heading off slowly. The rest of the offensive unit will follow now as it's picked up by Zach Manns and Oakville will go on offense. Mickle turned left at the door, taking a breather. Quick stick back for Manns and a good save from Hutchcraft. Kick back to the goaltender from the defense. And Colton Watkinson found it in his feet and now takes off running. Here for Mitch Wild. Off the bench is Fox. Jake Fox as the change continues for Thompson. Split save from Craig Wendy. And Oakville off to the races. Slow down a little bit as it's brought back over center. Lintner. In on net, faking low, going high. Goal there for Jack Kelly. Stops the run of Brooklyn. At exactly 11 minutes left to play here in our second quarter. Keep your eye on Jack Kelly on the crease. Couple fakes before putting it in behind Riley Hutchcraft who vacates the net to go get water. Tamis winning another faceoff here for Oakville. Cleanly back into the stick of Taylor Koffel, who gets double teamed in along the boards. Hutchcraft. Pick up and over for Tchaikovsky. Outside for Bushi. Ten on the shot clock. Ty Thompson. Off the post and in. Brooklyn gets that one back quick. And regains the four goal lead. Ball works over to the boards. Bushi quickly will find Thompson and 
And it's too much space for Ty Thompson there, who sends it off the post. That may have gone off the back of Wendy before finding the back of the cage. Brooklyn did play yesterday, but almost a completely different roster with one of the, I think it is the biggest number of players registered to play in this MSL Classic. As the shot saved by Hutchcraft, Lintner will pick it off the crease. Henry follows back with it. Follows through a seam to Lanchbury. How did Follows find Lanchbury on the far side? Quick stick denied there by Hutchcraft. Zach Deacon jogs up with it. Ball down, Bushi on the run. Can't stop it from going over and back as Nick Ellerton wanted the quick restart. Lintner, that shot, gets in on Hutchcraft. Rebound, picked out of the crease for Justin Robinson. We'll send it all the way for Logan Swanton. Pressure coming from behind here, and Cody Ward quickly got rid of it to Nick Tchaikovsky. For Kyle Waters to the crease. Looking to stuff it short side, but wide of the net, and there's under nine minutes to go here in the second. Alex Q turns and fires. That's off the leg of Hutchcraft. It doesn't leave the crease. As now Hutchy down floor. The Stevens. Thought he had a lane to the net, but Stevens will stop. And now try Donville. Jonathan Donville to return for Bushi. Bushi's defender, Tamis fell. Bushi to the crease. Adjusted midair as he was being hit. And Wendy makes the save. Bushi lands in the crease. And we get the violation. As now Jake Stevens. Leaving the Brooklyn bench. Lanchbury on the crease. Lindner all day. And all the moves. To cut the lead in half for Oakville. Lindner. Just splits the defense. You can see both players go for the ball. And how many moves was that? Right in front of Hutchcraft. To make it 6-3 still for Brooklyn. But Oakville will be awarded this possession off the draw. And Alec Tamis. Will have it back for follows in the corner. Lanchbury. Finds Lindner circling the crease. His bounce shot goes just wide. Shot clock down to 10 as it'll be picked. Ooh, almost picked up. And now it is by Lanchbury. Close to the over and back as Lindner lets fire. Hutchcraft belted in between the legs, but never got through. Here's Donville. Taking the shot into the stick. And it was picked up by Steve Portelli. Portelli for Ellerson. As follows. Excuse me, that's Dylan Watson. Coming off the bench. Matt Anderson now will put the brakes on. Back for Watson. Blanchbury over the top. Sidearm shot. That hits a body in front. And the shot clock should expire here on Oakville again. No, it was cleanly picked up there by Brooklyn. And then a nice stick check by Watson. Pops the ball free and Oakville will get a fresh 30. 
Stolen from Cody Ward by Dylan Watson. And a big screen in front of the shot. And it'll turn into a goal for Oakville. This starts with Dylan Watson, the steal on Cody Ward at the tail end of the shot clock, allowing Oakville to extend the possession. And you can see the offense getting back on the floor. And it's over the far, is that Watson again? That's Anderson, excuse me, throwing the screen that opens the shooting lane. But the youngsters on this Oakville Rock team, we're used to seeing all the big boys. Putting up the points, but. With them not playing in a lot of this tournament. Youngsters having a pretty good offensive shift there. The pull within two of Brooklyn. Big hit there, Stevens. I'm gonna go down, Corson Keeley, excuse me. Getting my junior and senior numbers mixed up as all the games start to <laughs> start to combine. If you've been following us the entire way through our junior lacrosse league coverage, major series, we had some field lacrosse on the second channel from the Hill Academy. As this will be played up for Donville. On the run, no look. Back to the near side, sidearm shot from Kyle Waters, wide of the mark. Waters trying to force the over and back and got it as he was playing there with Tamis, but quickly up for Hostrauser off the bench. Lansbury fires, and that is Stevens picking up. We're gonna get a scrap. This Subak taking on Hostrauser and taking down Hostrauser. It's actually Colton Watkinson, the 24. As Watkinson and Hostrauser are tangled up in on the crease. And we'll see what the officials do. They go to the penalty box. I wouldn't call that five for fighting. I inadvertently said Subak. That was Colton Watkinson. There for Brooklyn. Bill Hostrauser for Oakville. Looks like we're going to be... I thought four on four, but now they're saying five on five. So I think that would be 10 minute misconducts with nothing on the board with 5-12 to play here. Unless we're canceling out offsetting penalties, but I didn't think that was the case here in OLA rules. Saved by Hutchcraft. Have to check. Played for Zach Deacon. Donville up top, sidearm, high over top of the cage. Donville, all kinds of time outside, waits for the last man off the bench. He takes a sidearm shot, and that from Dan Mickle. Matt Anderson for Watson. Sidearm, that took a right turn as it hit the turf in front of Hutchcraft. And Oakville gets another one back. Dylan Watson, second. 
around the screen and the English on that ball as the release. Gets in behind Hutchcraft for the 6-5 score now. Oakville all the way back within one. After being down 5-1 at one point. An early run from Brooklyn here to start the second quarter. We're down to four minutes left in the frame. And Oakville back within one. They're going to go to the penalty, though, as Bushi had the stick ripped out of his hands. And it'll be a holding call coming here, I believe, against Mike McCannell. Donville up top. Playing it through Fox. Now Donville around to the lefties. Kyle Waters for Jonathan Donville. Bushi in the corner. Trying to find Thompson. A little too high. Tipped here by Oakville. They may have a two-on-one. They will as Tamas catches up to the plate. Takes the shot. Looking over that left knee of Hutchcraft. And he just hit it off the glove. Stevens getting off as Donville picked up the ball to negate the substitution call there, but that was close. As we have three minutes left, low shot coming from Corson Keeley. Save made by Wendy, and the ball picked up, and Callum Jones quickly into Brooklyn territory. Jones will put the brakes on, but they've got Bushi out there killing off the penalty. 10 on the shot clock. Follows. The outside for Lanchbury. Lanchbury to lift it in. Trying to find Watson, I think. And it eventually rolls onto the crease for Hutchcraft just as the shot clock expires. And Bushi wants a change as he's been out there over a minute now. 30 seconds to go in the Brooklyn power play as Fox. We'll find Donville now in the corner. Look at the cut there from, excuse me, Kyle Waters. And the ball movement to set it up from Brooklyn. Starts with Fox and then Donville. That high man in the box. Moved off the top spot, which opens the low side for Waters, who had circled the crease. And at one point, you could see a line of three red jerseys. Giving enough space for the shot to make it 7-6 here for Brooklyn in the dying moments of the first half. Lindner out of the corner. Dan Lindner with it. Looking for help, finds Zach Manns. Mans lost it momentarily, but then Stevens couldn't take it away. Tries to stick check. And now it is picked off the turf. This is Subak. Subak and Stevens. And a save from Wendy. Subak on the crease. Wendy again. Oh, my. The third time here in the first half. Craig Wendy comes up huge. Mans tries to shoot through the defender. It's off the leg and rolls into the corner. Picked up by Deacon. Ty Thompson spins away from pressure. Under 10 on the shot clock. Less than a minute to go in the period. Neither team has taken a timeout here. So they'll both have one left as we count it down. As Callum Jones brings it in. And now Mike McCannell. 
Playing across, hard shot there from Follows. Hutchcraft the save, 38 seconds as Oakville plays two on one. Ryan Wagner. Orson Keeley. To the outside, Bushi. Now Fox looks over the cutter. Going there for Thompson. Thompson out of the corner, around the back, onto the crease. And caught in the feet there of Waters, who ran out of space with 12.1 left in the period. Timeout will be called by Oakville. This game would be a lot closer if not for that man right there, Craig Wendy. Couple of huge acrobatic saves early in this half, three different times. Wendy will get a well-deserved rest and a drink with 12.1 to go here in the period. Tied over on the other side, showing 5-5 Coburg and Owen Sound. I believe Kohlberg looking for their first MSL win. Owen Sound got one at the tail end of last week. They're about a minute and a half before halftime over there with Alan Corkum on JVI Sports Network Channel 2. And the red turf here at the Toronto Rock Athletic Center. So here we go. Lanchbury will start with the ball. Follows and Watson and Manns are out there on the left side. Lindner, and I believe Matt Anderson representing the righties. Here's Lanchbury. In for Lindner. Cutter there. Was Watson, and then Manns was stuffed. Horn about to go, and it does now. No time for a second shot. And that'll be the half. Brooklyn riding a big run to start the second quarter. Oakville. Tried to come back and get themselves within two as we head to halftime here at the Toronto Rock Athletic Center. You're watching the MSL Classic on the JVI Sports Network. We'll be back in about nine and a half minutes.
Welcome back to the Toronto Rock Athletic Center here on the blue turf where Brooklyn leads 7-5 after five goals in that second quarter, most of them in the first couple minutes. As Oakville Rock go right to left here in that period in this period. Those penalties to Watkinson and Hostraz are five minutes for roughing. To put a cap on that is a quick stick here in Lansbury. Another quick start for Oakville here in the third. As a quick stick down in the crease to Lanchbury. Oakville within one now, 30 seconds into this second half. Well, it was about 15 people or so that decided to sit on that left side. Picked a good net tonight. There's been some action down to our left. Of course, Major Series Lacrosse.ca is where you go for tickets. I believe the capacity limit is 300 here on the blue side. And there's ticket information there, including availabilities for tomorrow as Follows comes in, the ball ends up in the net, but well after he landed in the crease. So Cropman right there to wave it off. An online COVID check before you show up, a mandatory mask on site. But otherwise, this has been the place to be for lacrosse over the last three weeks. Oakville picking up Steve Portelli, the shot off the left leg there of Hutchcraft. Rebound right into the stick of Justin Robinson, who runs up and over center. Now coming off the bench, Ty Thompson. Thompson back with it, stops just outside the fan. Bushy sidestepping his way in, down on the crease for Donville. Looked like Donville was going to try the dive attempt. But had to backhand it in the corner for Bushy. And Bushy trying to beat the shot clock. Let rip, and it was right into the body of Luke Van Scheppen. Lintner to the outside. Brand new uncommon fit jerseys. Back in black for Brooklyn and the solid reds here for Oakville as the stick is shattered there as the play moves away from the Oakville end. Ryan Wagner for Ty Thompson. Thompson over the line, still with it. Defender falls and a kick save made by Wendy that rolls past Donville, who was tied up there by Nick Ellerton. Alex Q. Quickly after the ball carrier, Nick Tchaikowski got there first. Tchaikowski over the top of Hostrauser into the stick of Donville. Brooklyn setting up again. Donville, well falling, gets it up and into the stick of Thompson there. The shot coming through. And... Wendy picks it out of the pile, all the way down floor here for Alec Thomas, who scores! <laughs> Oakville tying it up with 11.48 to go. The save made by Wendy, second one, and all the way down floor for Thomas who was all alone in front of Hutchcraft. We're even at seven. Here in the third. Boisino and I believe Van Scheppen at the faceoff dot, either him or Jack follows as we get a trip off the draw. 
I think to Oakville here. Luke Van Sheppen going off for tripping on the faceoff. I think this is it right here. Oh my. I hope that's not it. Two on the board for Van Sheppen as Oakville trying to kill off the penalty. Donville, Thompson into the corner. They went for Mickle as it comes back for Thompson. His shot off the defender and all the way back to the restraining line. Now Donville, a second opportunity caught on the foot by Wendy. Curtis Goddard. Cross center. Now for Anderson. 15 on the shot clock for Anderson. Minute 15. Left to kill for Oakville. Anderson shot on the left foot of Riley Hutchcraft. And now Justin Robinson and Donville over center. Donville and Bushi talking the play. Well, now started down the right side. Waters on the crease. Hard shot there, and Waters gets it through Craig Wendy. Tail end of the power play, 41 seconds left in it, and Brooklyn will retake the lead, 8-7. Kind of a slow developing play here. Waters is down on the crease as now the move comes. The pick from Bushi. And Bushi and Thompson both went to the crease and perhaps a bit of a distraction freezing both Wendy and the defense. As Boisano will get this face off. First couple weeks again. You haven't been following our MSL Classic coverage here on JVI. It was Justin Anasio. We haven't seen him now in two weeks. But Matthew Boisano, a nice job here this evening. A bouncer in for Hutchcraft, who recovers going to his right. And will make the save on Steve Portelli, but a reset here for Oakville. Blanchbury. Looking for a cutter, went up top for Watson instead. Zach Manns will push for Watson. Halfway through the shot clock as Watson gets it back. Shoved past the crease by Stevens. And now Watson all the way up top looking for Lanchbury and that'll go over and back. Wendy was on the bench. I believe we may have a penalty coming here. It'll be an illegal cross check. In behind the net, I think, from Jake Stevens on Dylan Watson. So Oakville trailing. Chance to tie again. Lansbury does just that, 13 seconds into the extra attacker. Front by Anderson, Lanchbury will shoot over the top. And we're tied up at eight with nine minutes left. Van Sheppen from his own zone, up for Nans, now follows. As Watson coming off the bench. Near side, flip pass, Lintner, bouncer. I think that off the glove, perhaps, of Hutchcraft and way high, comes down in the stick of Brooklyn. 
And Logan Swanton will cross center. Passing here for Dan Mickle. Mickle to the corner, course, and Keeley will take it to the crease. And under 10 seconds in the shot clock. It doesn't get in on Wendy. So here comes Alec Tamis. Tamis with Robinson all over him. We'll push it back up top for Anderson, who works through. Anderson in the corner along with Hostrauser. Back now for Lanchbury, trying to let that big howitzer of a shot go. Got it past the first defender, but not on target as it's down floor. No quick restart there for Jack Stevens, but trailing the play is Donville. And it's right into the stick of Craig Wendy. Ellerton for Lanchbury now. Bouncing back to Jack Kelly. Lanchbury, Lintner, and follows. Henry follows on the crease to Lindner, and it just wouldn't settle in the stick long enough for the quick stick play. Ryan Wagner there for the rebound. Wagner up, and picks the corner, does Colton Watkinson. Bit of back and forth here in the period. And you can see Watkinson there just had the top corner three on two. Watkinson appreciating the decoy effort of Bushi off the bench. So 9-8 now as we go back and forth. Oakville still yet to lead in this game. Have got as close as a tie twice now. But now, needing to even it again. Here's Lintner. Swim move. Cuts back. Now bursting through the defense. Shot there that Hutchcraft saved off the stick of Jack Kelly. Down floor. Hutchcraft looking for another assist. Mitch Wild was deep in Oakville territory, and that pass just too long. Watson for Lanchburg. Back for Kelly. Shot there, works to the outside boards. Ryan Wagner on the loose ball. Boisino. They had a four on three, but quickly out the front door for Oakville. Here's Thompson. Spinning back, under 10 on the shot clock is Donville. Sends it behind the net, looking back for Bushi. And then when Bushi tried to get back for Thompson, was intercepted by Wendy. Passes to Tyre Koffelt now. Lanchbury. Flipping to Dan Lintner. Who draws a double team and gets away. Lindner still with it. Will bounce over to Zach Manns. Henry follows. Manns a hard shot. Save made by Hutchcraft. Manns and Lindner. To Lanchbury. Lanchbury will dive. And in the crease as Hutchcraft made the save. Jake Stevens. Burbushi. Bushi goes airborne and forces Wendy to make a save and then a pick as well. As Curtis Goddard has taken it up to center floor. Jack Kelly trying to get away from Zach Deacon. Up for Lanchbury. Far side for Goddard. Curtis Goddard, past the defender. Orfer follows his shot off the end boards. Boisino picks it up cleanly. Here's Mitch Wild. Wild, all alone, shuffles it back well, falling. And Mitch Wild getting up a little bit slowly after the Craig Wendy save. Looks to be okay, just tired though, does 
Mitch Wild. Back-to-back -back nights for Wild after about 18 months off. Here's Manns. Watson's low shot hits the end boards. Now spinning away from pressure is Anderson, who's bounced shot. Hits Hutchcraft. Robinson, all alone, takes the shot and scores. Hutchcraft getting love from the bench as well after a save. Sends it back the other way, the transition shoes. Out for Brooklyn. There's the pass from Hutchcraft up here for Robinson. And Justin Robinson all alone. As the goaltenders get water, another game, final one of the week for the MSL Classic here on JVI Sports Network. It will be on the main channel. Coming tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Mike Hancock with the call of Oakville Rock and Six Nations Chiefs from here on the blue turf. At least I think it's Hammer. Tune in and find out. As Boisano sends that face-off win. Back here for Callum Jones. Jones was taken down by Ryan Wagner and possession awarded here to Oakville. Stephen Portelli for Lindner with three and a half to go in the third. Pick coming from Jack Kelly. Lintner for follows. Dancing around the outside, follows, stands in to make the pass into Watson on the crease. Looked like Boisano was pushed back into his crease. There'll be a penalty call coming here. It'll be to Oakville as Deacon finds Donville rushing in. Deacon will pick up the rebound as play continues here. Bushi for Kyle Waters. And Bushi to Donville. Hutchcraft on the bench. As he's been this entire time, the ball has been down to our right. Orson Keeley, shot there, save made by Wendy, and this will be the stoppage and the penalty for a cross check. And it is Steven Portelli. Oakville. Another one of these Oakville Buzz Junior A players. I count five anyways. Six if you include Sam Haynes, the backup goaltender tonight. Lifted, how did that stay out? Horson Keeley looked like I was destined for the corner, but no, as Host Trouser brings it back. Odd play down to our right, as now Oakville will try and kill this off with Lanchbury. Damn, getting a second look here in the booth. And still not sure. As Oakville kills 30 on their shot clock and their penalty time. One minute left to go in the penalty, a minute 40 left to go in the quarter. As Donville will take top spot on the power play. Working it through Thompson. And in the corner, Thompson looks for the corner. That one hits off the post. Straight back for Donville, though. Caught at the restraining line. Fresh 30 seconds. Thompson, Donville, low shot. Bushy, save made by Craig Wendy. And a rebound controlled by Oakville as Luke Van Scheppen's got running room. Swatton recovers. Plays back here for Lindner. Craig Wendy. On the delayed penalty, working his way to the bench. Extra attacker is Zach Manns. Five on the shot clock and under a minute to go in the quarter. Play will be stopped here for a slash. 
with 12 seconds. Left to go in the initial penalty to Oakville. Here's where the official's arm goes up. Bit of disbelief from Ty Thompson, but two on the board with 53 seconds left to go in the period, and Craig Wendy on the bench, presumably to take the spot of Portelli when his penalty expires here in just a couple seconds. Lanchbury up top in the corner for Watson. Quick stick play there. Hutchcraft will make the save as this one will go the length of the floor. Wendy back out there playing for Lanchbury. Shot clock will be a non-factor with 20 seconds left to go in the period. Anderson, Lanchbury, Watson. They've got Mans on the crease. Shot through traffic there. Anderson, Hutchcraft will hang on. And I believe kill the period. That's what he was trying to do. Lost control of it momentarily before Wild will end the frame. 10-8, two goal lead for Brooklyn. Trying to remain perfect here in this MSL Classic. Short period break. Here we'll be back in just about two and a half minutes time at the Toronto Rock Athletic Center. This is MSL Classic on JVI. Final 15 minutes here at the Toronto Rock Athletic Center. Between Brooklyn and Oakville. Brooklyn's threatened to run away with it a couple times, but Oakville just will not go away in this game. Down by two, heading to the final frame. Zach Mann's up top for Lanchbury, working to the crease, playing back. This is an Oakville power play. Late in the shot clock, Mann's from long range. That's hits off a body. And it'll be Brooklyn possession. 32 seconds remaining in that slashing call to Ty Thompson at the tail end of the third quarter. As Mitch Wild. Will pass here for Donville and now head off. Give and go between Donville and Bushi capitalizes. Short-handed goal brings the lead back up to three. It was as much as four in this game. As Bushi to Donville. I feel like we'll be 
calling that for a few years in Brooklyn. Bill Hostrasser, Ryan Lanchbury, another young up and coming player, could be a superstar here as Thompson comes out of the box. And down floor, Colt Watkinson stops, spins, and a split save made by Wendy. I cannot tell you how long I'd be in hospital for if I tried that. Wendy. Always makes it look easy. Out of the corner here, Stevens wants to go for a run. Has Boisano there as well off the defensive shift and called for the too many men call. Official was right there watching the bench. Stevens gets it, Boisano. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that is a great call from Kyle Kropman. Very close, but I think correct. As Brooklyn back in the box. By the razor thinnest of margins. Bouncer in on Hutchcraft. Brooklyn for Mitch Wild. Thirty seconds gone here in the penalty. Fifteen left on the shot clock for Bushi. Fox facing a double team. Gets taken down here, and Oakville will get it back. Two and a half minutes gone. In the fourth, Callum Jones. Her man's at the restraining line. Lanchbury. In the corner for Lintner. Back through Anderson. Only one yet to touch it is Watson, who does so now. Ten on the shot clock. Back for Lanchbury and Anderson. Lanchbury shoots straight down the pipe. Hutchcraft there to make the save. Loose in the crease. Man's trying to poke at it. Robinson didn't want to pick up to start the shot clock. As there's 35 seconds left on this penalty, but nobody from Brooklyn able to control that ball. So now to the line for Lanchbury. And now Anderson, Lindner in the corner. Has it back for Anderson and Lanchbury. On the crease, Manns looked like was surprised as a low shot attempt from Watson. And out and down the floor, Cody Ward, who had partially blocked it. Ward to the front door, the shot in the arm save by Wendy as Dan Meikle came streaking out the front door. Ward now for Waters and Donville. Meikle will stay out there. Bushi's the last one, who circles over the top and sidearm. Just as the penalty expires, Chris Bushi. Well, the room, the Grand Canyon there that Bushi shoots through. To beat Craig Wendy. And Oakville going to need one of those runs they put together at the tail end of the third in the back half of that quarter. If they look to take the victory here tonight. Otherwise, BLC will remain perfect. Anderson. For Henry follows. Cleanly intercepted here. And Subak looking for help. Not finding anybody in a black jersey. And now we'll head off the floor. Big collision there between follows and Alec Tamas, the teammates. 
as diving ahead, Corson Keeley. And Wendy is down on the awkward save, getting up a bit slowly, but tells Andrew Ecclestone he's okay. Keeley for Donville. In the corner, Bushi. Jonathan Donville, the shot get, gets through Wendy. Got a piece, but not enough. And Brooklyn with momentum. Starting to put a run together here in the fourth quarter. Wow, look. The speed of the release from Donville on that shot. Not quite a quick stick, but a fast release for sure. Still a close one over on the other side between Coburg and Owen Sound. Kodiak's taking a two goal lead. It looks like 11-8 in their fourth quarter. As we're now 13 to eight, under 10 to go in the fourth. Ty Thompson for Kyle Waters. Donville in the corner for Bushi. Playing back down low, Thompson. Ty Thompson. Lost it into the stick of Ellerton. It was Luke Van Shepp in there to poke it free. I believe this is Oakville's clock as Callum Jones picked it up and bombed it down floor. It was called for eight seconds. Jones gave Bushi a shove who returned and now Bushi eats a chop from the former Burlington captain who will take up the battle with Donville. Donville passing for Corson. Keeley on the crease bouncing around and that one beats Craig Wendy as that may have been Dan Mickle. Wendy wants a water break after that one. Big rebound on the crease and Mickle. But that foot may have dragged through before it went in, but it will be 14-8. As BLC looking to put a cap on this one and pull away. Still nine minutes left though as The Rock can put a run together. We saw it in that second quarter. This is not insurmountable, but it is the biggest lead of the night. And Oakville has only ever been able to tie it here this evening. It's wild. To the outside for Tchaikovsky. Nick Tchaikovsky for Dan Mickle. Shot there. Oh, another one that was off the arm of Wendy bouncing around in the crease. And a high stick is called behind the play with Tchaikovsky back there. I think along with Alec Tamis. We'll follow this after the shot. Tamis, a couple cross checks, and that one got away from Nick Tchaikovsky. Well, it's go time for Oakville. 8.31 left in the fourth. And Brooklyn's giving them a power play. Anderson, Lintner, Lanchbury. Watson, this time it's Manns in the corner. On this top power play line. Quick stick down for Lindner. No one after the rebound though, but unable to be picked up by Brooklyn, so Manns will reset the 30. 
Anderson on the doorstep, Watson, and saved by Hutchcraft. Who delayed the pickup there momentarily, again, trying to kill as much as they can off this Brooklyn penalty. But now Jake Stevens. To the other Jake, and that's Fox off the bench. Now for Ty Thompson. Cutting to the net and over top of Wendy. A short-handed marker for Brooklyn. Extends the lead now, the largest of the night for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. Fifteen eight. Yeah. Minute ten left in the penalty. As another face off win for Boisano, who been controlling the dot here this evening. As Bushi has it. Callum Jones. And host Drowser on defense. In on Bushi. They'll double team Bushi, taking down Jones there, looking to pick up. And Bushi did get it, but no time to break through that wall. Callum Jones and Bill Hostrauser. Better you than me, Chris Bushi. Lanchbury. Anderson and Lintner. Back for Lanchbury, quickly through all five. His man's has it. Trying to get back for Anderson. Oakville wanted a holding call in the middle there as Anderson couldn't get his stick free. Now Lanchbury can get a shot through the defender and it'll be a shot clock violation as Colton Watkinson will give for Mitch Wild who's up over center. Penalty has expired here. We're back to five on five with under six and a half to play in the fourth. Wanting it up top was Fox calling for it the entire way on the crease. Dan Mickle and called in the crease. Here's Ellerton. Is that the break for Oakville? Henry follows. The Lanchbury on the crease looking for follows. Too high for him, so the shot clock under 10. Follows walks out of the corner and can't get the shot. As now Hutchcraft up for Jake Stevens. Stevens gonna take all alone, and this time Wendy can't recover. Oh, as Stevens takes himself hard into the end boards. Another assist tonight for Riley Hutchcraft. We've got him for four up here in the booth. Oof. Toe caught in the turf at the end there for Jake Stevens, but don't bury the lead. The move to score was pretty nice. Saw Wendy make a couple of those saves in the first half. But not that time. As Mike McCannell. And Oakville control this face off. Off the bench is Mans. Looking for Watson. Anderson and Lanchbury. Back for Mans. Low shot right off the leg of Colton Watkinson, who will stay on and now thinks better of it and heads off. As you can see him jump. As soon as that one hit, Brooklyn has stretched the lead to eight. With Donville outside and under five to play. Jonathan Donville, sidearm shot. I think they're calling interference here. Yes, indeed, against Luke Van Sheppen. 
The ball will stay with Brooklyn as Corson Keeley was taken down on the side of the crease with the ball loose. Fox for Donville for Mickle now. Mickle on the crease. And in the crease again. I think that time it may have been Donville as the ball arrived. Here's Curtis Goddard. As Swanton on Goddard. Follows. Back for Goddard, the two collide. And now they go all the way back across the floor for Lansbury. And there it is, the goal for Henry Follows. And I think that's the first in the MSL career. And indeed, they are going to try and take the ball out of play. First MSL goal for the Oakville Buzz product. Had the ball in the stick a number of times here this evening. And his goal makes it 69. As Brooklyn will control this faceoff, it was Tchaikovsky. But then was met by three Oakville Rock players and the ball stripped as Hostrauser. The play up for Lanchbury. Bouncer from Lintner outside for Manns. Watson to Lanchbury. Jack Kelly. Big chop in the middle from Leitner. And the second one will be called as it was on Anderson and Watson. Blasts a shot. Wide of the mark. This is a slashing call. Comes here to Brooklyn. With 3.37 left to go in the fourth. And the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club leading 16-9. Slashing call against Mitch Wild. Anderson for Lanchbury to Watson. Zach Mans. Lanchbury looking quick stick there for Lintner. Subak tying up Dan Lintner. And the crease violation. They're going to call Subak back in as he kicked it back to former Mountaineer teammate Riley Hutchcraft. Back Mans and Lintner. Shot through traffic off the shoulder of Hutchcraft, up out of play. Watson will get a fresh 30 seconds as the penalty time down to a minute 33. Lanchbury through traffic scores. My, oh my, the. Hard outside shot from Ryan Lanchbury has been on display in this MSL Classic, has it not? Seen it a couple times tonight. And two goals coming in. As it is 16 to 10 here with under three to play in regulation. Off the bench is Jack Kelly swarmed here. A while since. Shot comes in there from Lindner. Anderson, chase it back here for follows to Zach Manns, oh, lost control of it, and Manns batting it towards the crease. Again, legal from outside, cannot bat it from inside the crease. And Brooklyn back within five. 2.15 on the clock. Excuse me, Oakville back within five. 
I think that is in the back before he touches down there, but only just. Two minute warning. 16-11 Brooklyn. Who control this face off and possession. Fox. A moving screen in front. Kyle Waters called there. Taking Alec Tamas down. Ellerton slammed on the brakes, looking for Lanchbury far side. Lanchbury flipping back for Jack Kelly. And here follows, no room to shoot. So follows will give for Watson, for Lanchbury, who always seems to find room to shoot. Lanchbury from his back. Couldn't find a pass. So dumped it into the back of Nick Tchaikovsky. Minute 20 left to go. Oakville. Chance to reset as they return to the floor tomorrow to face Six Nations. As a dive there and a goal from Corsi Keeley. Will Shirley put the exclamation mark on this one. As Brooklyn's up 17-11. Finding a seam, cutting through, and Keeley. Couple nifty moves on the crease, and then the dive afterwards. For the 17th goal as we hit the last minute of play in the fourth. Bushi. Has Keeley off the bench. Now back for Chris Bushi. Bushi shoots through the defender, Goddard, and Wendy. Alex Q turned for the bench, otherwise they had a quick pass down floor. Matt Anderson was the player off the bench. As Goddard will send it back to Mans, who spins off coverage and shoots. Hutchcraft there to go with him and make the save, though. Recovered by Oakville. Running away from pressure, Portelli. Got from Watson, that hits off a of body. And trying to chase it down is Justin Robinson and Bench just wants to kill it out. And indeed they will as the horn sounds, make it a 17-11 final for Brooklyn. Who will move to five and zero here in the MSL Classic. After four and 14, the last time they took to the floor back in 2019. A reminder of our final game of the week tomorrow. It is Oakville and Six Nations from here at the Toronto Rock Athletic Center on the blue turf. And it'll be right here on the JVI Sports Network's main page. Just about to finish over on the other side. Kohlberg about to pick up their first win. 16 to nine in the final minute over there over against Owen Sound. We'll say goodnight from the Toronto Rock Athletic Center. We hope you'll join us tomorrow right here for more MSL Classic Oakville and Six Nations at 8 p.m. On behalf of producer Gary Morrison, director Ryan Harkness, I'm Matthew Carrick for the MSL and JVI.